Shavu Atav, everybody! All right, I am totally not ready. So I'm gonna get Ariel Adar to start doing a little jam as I get my stuff together. Hi, everybody, welcome, welcome, my beautiful holy brothers and sisters. All right, come see me, Ariel. Introducing Ariel Hello. and Libyako. All right, here we go. Yo, yo, I love you so much. Shavu Atav. All right, let's go. Rock it out as we get people on. I mean, they don't hear you. You gotta be a lot louder than that. Of a week filled with health and happiness. It's so dark in here, my gosh. Okay. Um, guys, I turned on my phone. Sarifki, Shavua Tov! Um, Yaakov is the son of the Shatchanim, the, the holy husband and wife that brought my husband and I together. Um, we turned on my phone this morning, and this morning, I don't even know what I'm saying. This tonight, right after Shabbos, and we found out that Rabbi Blum from Achon was um, unfortunately taken away from this world. Rabbi Blum was such a holy man. He was our halacha teacher in Machon Beis Yaakov. Rabbi Blum was my daughter's halacha teacher in Prospect Park Yeshiva. And it, it's just so... You know what it is? It's like we're hearing so much, so so many horrible like stories of people losing loved ones, and then like when it hits home, it's like it really hits home. It's so hard. It's so difficult. And um, uh, I'm talking about something serious. <laughs> no, but I'm just talking about Rabbi Blum. Yeah, Ellie's rabbi who is Nifter. Yeah. So we're going to do mitzvot in, in his chesim, I love you. So, um, I want to dedicate our learning today for Rabbi Blum. And I got his name actually right before I'm doing, I did this live. Matisyahu Ben Alexander Zusha Meir. And I really wanted to be there um, with my daughter tonight. You know, because it was hard for both her and I. And... I told her, you know what my daughter tells me? Yeah, Ellie, she's like, Ima, you're gonna go give physics to other people now. You gotta, you gotta gain strength to give other people strength. 
She was saying, till now, there are people that, are, that were dying, left and right, but we didn't know them on a personal level, right? So, I mean, there were, but when it hits home, so, um, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just hurting, but at the same time, you have to be happy and make other people happy. And it's such a hard balance. So I, I told her, when we take our pain and we use it to elevate those who are nifter, what, what could be a greater gift that we could give them, right? They say the greatest gift, a greatest mitzvah is to do taras, um, taras amis. When someone's nifter and you clean their bodies, you cleanse their bodies. Why? Because it can never repay you. It's a chesed shel emes. And I think that's, that's what we could do. Like, we, he's not, he, he was doing it for him, solely for the purpose of elevating his neshama because he did so much for us. So, I think we should start first and foremost by saying to Helene, because we need it more than ever. Hi, Shir Hamalos, me ma makim kir sicha denaya, denai shimava koli, tiana znacha kashivos, the kota hanunai. Imavonos to shmoya denai mi amot, kim chasel, chalaman tivare, kivisi adenai kiv son of shivil, dvaro, hochalti, nafshila denai mi shomer maboka, shomer maboka. Yachal shal adenai kim adenai chasel, verbe mofedos, with that is shal mikol And I was thinking today, guys, um, Jay Rogers, thank you for asking. I'm actually a little bit, the light is so strong. Hold on one second, one second. How do I switch this? Uh, it's so strong for me. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to deal with the light. I actually heard a saying in um, Rabbi Blum from, um, he taught in a bunch of schools, Rabbi Blum, and he taught halacha. He taught me halacha. He taught my daughter halacha. He taught generations of Torah. You know how to fix it? Could you make a, I don't know. Thank you. Anyway, I heard a saying in a rap. I know it's like, it's a non-Jewish song, but um, there's a song in there because I was doing a, a, an event for like a school that was um, a little bit, you can make whatever, it's blinding me. And it says, I heard, yeah, I heard you, you die twice. Once when they bury you in the ground and the second time is the last time that they mention your name. Hold on one second, but that's how it goes on. I heard you die twice. Once when they bury you in the ground, and the second time is the last time when somebody mentions your name. Yeah. How sad is that? Then yeah, can you make it a little stronger? It's just so sad. I can't even think straight. It's just like the emotions and, and all right, focus. We're on this world, and I think today couldn't be any more, a little less, a little less stronger than to learn. And today's lesson is something magnificent, because you know what today we're learning? By the way, does anyone know what number lesson this is? I think I'm gonna have to switch. Is that what it is? I'm too, too, too close to it. Does anyone know what number lesson this is? Can you open the window, Tara? Today is, no, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, number 12. 12, does anyone know what 12 is? It's a bas mitzvah. What, yes, it's a 12 shimmy shmooze, guys. And so many are here for the 12th shimmy shmooze. And it means so much to me. Hello, Naomi Nachman, your challah came out delicious for Shabbos. It elevated our Shabbos table. 12, guys, you know what a bat mitzvah is? A bat mitzvah is when a girl turns 12 and she says, you know what? Right now, I am a bat mitzvah. I am a daughter, a, a girl who's ready to take upon herself mitzvahs. And like, that's when she turns like mature and realizes what life is really all about. Or she's starting the journey of that. So I, 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 I was reading what we're learning today. Guys, oh my gosh. Hello, Plotsky. So today we're learning about understanding ourselves, understanding our hearts. Now I have a question for you guys. And I have a video to show you, but I'm gonna show it to you tomorrow, Bezrat Hashem. Um, what do you think is your mission on this world? Does anyone know? Does anyone know, like, someone to ask, were to ask you, 
Why do you think you're on this world? You specifically, not in a general why Hashem made the world. Why do you think you're on this world? Does anyone know? Like, do you know the answer? Would you be able to answer that? So, I feel like, how could you answer if you don't even, how could you know what you are meant to be on this world? Yeah, exactly. I'm still trying to figure it out. If you don't know who, you're, who you are, who, who are you? You have to know who you are in order to recognize what you need to do on this world. So, someone said to make a difference. But what type of difference? Because like I can make a difference, you can make a difference. What what type of difference are you here to make, right? So yeah, you have to know yourself first. Like Malika says, I want to tell you, I did an event. They asked me to speak um, at JWE, Jewish Women Entrepreneurs for Business. And people are on Instagram, um, how to build their business, and they called me up. Shimmy, we want you to speak on a panel. I'm like, I ain't no blogger. Why didn't you be on Instagram? I mean, on, on this JWE thing, I'm not a blogger. I don't know about, I'm not on Instagram for my business. I'm not there to become bigger on Instagram. I'm just there to like spread love and, and kindness, hopefully, and smiles and connect with people. They're like, that's exactly why we want you there. I'm like, okay. They wanted, the whole mission was, um, statement was how to be on Instagram and use it for the good, not just your business, but to make a difference. So <clears throat> thank you, David Perlman. And um, I walk in there. First of all, I didn't realize how many people knew me because they were women from the ages of like 18 to, to 80. I'm not joking. And everyone in between. And I come in there like, Shimmy Adar, we follow you on Instagram. I'm like, you all follow me on Instagram? Whoa. So it was like so nice. So I naturally want to get to know them. I'm like, what's your name? What's your name? And um, each one tells me like, Oh, I am um, beanies underscore hat. Uh, I'm burger underscore on fire. You know? It's like, I'm dresses look so fine. I'm like, what? I'm like, no, I, what, who are you? I don't want to know. You, I know you were at like a conference for your business on Instagram, but I want to know who you are. Who are you? Your Instagram is not who you are. Your business is not who you are it's what you do but it doesn't define who you are right and i was like did we lose a focus of who we are over this journey of social media and that made me very sad and like i want to take it back that's what corona has taught us to take it back to simple who we are there's nothing that we could do right now we're home Yes, I'm saying it louder. We need to know who we are. What is our mission on this world? So I want to go straight to learning today because when I do it for, I'm doing this for some, for, for somebody that I knew personally. So I want to grow because he, he taught us. He was such a great rabbi, Rabbi Blum. He was such a holy man. So, and I just went to Yaeli, my daughter, for PTA a few months ago and He's like, Shimrita Nino, Shimrita. I'm like, oh, Rabbi Bloom, you remember me? He's like, how could I forget you? I was like, uh-oh. And he was just such a happy, go lucky, fun, understanding rabbi. And how could we not give back to Rabbi Bloom? He gave us so much. So that's what I usually do. When I'm in pain, I go and I, I give. Because when I give, I... I somehow heal my pain. Yeah, we gotta cry, and I'm sure I'm gonna cry tonight, and I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna mourn. I, I want I want to explain to you guys something. It's very important to mourn, and it's very important to feel and to embrace your feelings and to embrace your sadness and to cry and to talk it out with with the people around you, somebody who will understand you, well, somebody who will be compassionate to you. But I always say, how much time are you gonna spend in that? that moment of, of, of bitterness and sadness, you have to go through that. But there's some people who go through that their whole lives, right? You have to embrace your pain and you have to give it the time that's necessary. And then you get up and you say, what am I going to do about it? What am I going to do about my pain? Right? And when you're able to give to the, to the mace, it, it's the greatest form of, 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 um, nechama. For us, and hopefully for the family, 
and hopefully for, for the neshama to bring him to a high level because we're, we're, we're doing mitzvahs on this world. How can, how can we achieve greatness if we don't know who we are? So guys, I want you to listen up. Pick up your sleeves and we're getting ready to learn all about ourselves. So I want to ask you, <clears throat> we're going to learn about ourselves and our hearts, okay? I'm talking about Rabbi Blum. He was a, a halacha rebbe in Machon um, in a lot of schools in Prospect for my, my um, daughter. So I'm going to ask you a question and tell me how many of you agree. If you agree, tell me, okay? Did you ever get on a train going somewhere only to discover that you were heading in the wrong direction, right? You're like, um, this is not where I'm meant to go. I did that once. I was actually going from Machon instead of going to Coney Island Avenue, I went to the city and I'm like, uh, I'm taking the wrong train. So sometimes that, you know, when you take the wrong train to the wrong destination, that happens in life. So you set goals, right? And you make plans. I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm, and then a setback happens or a crisis, God forbid. And that crisis it forces you like to stop in your tracks and suddenly discover that you're on the wrong train. You're in the wrong train of life, right? And I'm not only on the wrong train, I have no idea where I'm going, right? We get so like lost in, in, in the confusion of life. And that's the problem, I think. I think that we, till now, so not everybody, but so many of us, we have lost our focus in life. We, fo we lost our focus. We're focusing on things that don't matter. It doesn't matter. This and that. And yeah, I understand like, you know, we were talking on Chavez and we were playing a game. And one of the questions were, what, what's something that you can live without? You know? And I was like, nail polish? Like if in life you could get rid of one thing that you could get rid of. And my friend was saying, Shimmy, but you know, as, as a joke, but like nail polish, when I wear nail polish, I'm able, because I said you don't need it to succeed in life. She's like, that's true, but when I wear nail polish and I get my nails out, I feel good about myself and then I'm able to do good and be a better mother. And I'm like, she's like, I'm joking, but really it's all perspective, right? So let's say a lot of times people go through a midlife crisis and, and when they get to that point in their life, they're like, what's my life all about? Like you start questioning yourself, what's my life all about? So like in desperation and confusion, right? So did you ever get in life like that? You're like so confused, you're so desperate, you don't know. So like a lot of these people go through a midlife crisis. They, unfortunately they get divorced, they, they quit their jobs. So like lacking the tools to figure themselves out when they go through a midlife crisis. They, they don't have the tools to figure out who they are and they never had them. So they jump, you know what happens? They jump into a different train and then they have no clarity and they're like, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just taking a different train and I'm just hopping on. So you know what binat halev means? Binas halev, what's live? Live is a heart. Show me hearts, guys. Can you show me some hearts? I love when the hearts pop up. It's like, but they only pop up like five minutes later. So it's really awkward. There you go. So understanding the heart, it means compre comprehending, understanding your inner drive. What, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings? So it's an invitation to meet the most fascinating person in the world. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now the most fascinating person in the world. Do you guys want to hear the most fascinating person in the world? Okay, yes, you do. The most fascinating person in the whole entire world is you. You. I'm talking to you guys. You are the most fascinating person in the whole entire world. It's, it's amazing. But, but the, the thing is that we don't take time to discover who we are. The most fascinating person in the world is you. How much time do you sit down and try to figure out who you are? So knowing yourself, guys the essence of being alive. You know how people say, I don't want to just live. I want to be alive. 
That's how I live. I don't want to just live. Some people are on autopilot. They just do. They do, do things because everyone else does it. I want to be alive, guys. How many of you want to be alive? And I'm not just talking about heart beating. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you have passion in everything that you do. You go to work. I'm so excited to go to work. You're going to make a difference. You're going to visit someone in the hospital. I'm so excited to make a difference. I'm a mother. I, I, I'm so excited to bring Simcha to my children. I can't wait to put them to sleep. I'm giving them a kiss goodnight. I'm going to make Shabbos. I'm so excited to set the table. On the, you're alive. You're not just going day by day. How many of you could see that? I'm not just living. I'm alive. I'm on fire. And if you're not, then you got to start learning about who you are. Because you're so good. You're so amazing. And you have so much to offer the world. Whoever, whoever you are, you're looking at me right now. You have so much to offer the world. So I, I really want to want emphasis on the fact that if you don't know what's driving you, then you're literally living on autopilot. You're literally just living. You're not alive. Do you know do you know what motivates you, guys? Do you know what drives you in life? Does anyone know? Could you guys let me know? And I want I want to tell you something very very important right now. I don't want any of us to wait for a crisis to happen. Definitely not a pandemic, right? Ain't nobody got that to wait. I don't I don't want any of us to wait for God forbid a personal crisis. To wake up and be like, what's my life all about? I need a change. We can't do that. Every day we need to wake up and be like, how, how, how am I going to be alive today? Because my friends, I don't know what I just did. Life is too short to be taking the wrong train. Life, I'm going to say this out loud, guys. I'm going to say this till you. It comes out of your brain. Life is too short to be taking the wrong train. How should we be alive in this time? I feel like everything is just happening and there's nothing to do. You have it. A lot of us feel that way. A lot of, a lot of us feel like there's nothing to do. But you know what? That's why we're learning. When you learn, you realize how much there is to do. Even in your limited space of your home, there is so much to do. And there's so much to give. And if you listened, I feel bad I didn't, I didn't start recording my, my lives. in I'm starting to record them. I'm opening up a page on Facebook that all the links to my lives are going to go in there. And you guys could just go back to all my lives. <gasps> Five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes and then... Okay. There's so much to learn with you. I could learn for days and nights. By the way, tonight is Alabab Cherebi's birthday. We want Mashiach now. Chesisha drives me. Learn Torah. That's what we're doing. We're learning Torah. And a lot of times I bring the Alabab Cherebi's learnings and teachings into our learnings. But guys, this is why I'm learning with you. I don't need to do this. I don't. This is every night I take up. I don't want to say I give up. I take up time of my night to connect with you. And you know what? It's very interesting because um, we were talking about it on Chavez, how shimmy, you know, the views, and maybe you could bring people on who are going to get you views and are controversial and this. I'm like, guys, you don't get it. <laughs> I don't think people get it. I'm not here to do these lives to become famous and to get followers and to get thousands of views. I'm not, I don't care about that. I joke. I'm like, look how many people. You know, it's part of the, the game. Guys, I'm on here to make a difference in your life. So I told my daughter said, she's like, Ima, my daughter, Yaeli. She's like, Ima, now you see right now, because Rabbi Bloom was Nifta, right? And my daughter is very hurt from it. She's very pained from it. And it's, she loved Rabbi Blum. Rabbi Blum made such a difference in her life. And, and I, I wanted to be with her. I, I, for the last hour, I was with my daughter. I was hugging her. And, you know, we, we mourned together. And she said, Ima, now you need to go on your live. And you need, you need to give chizak. And she said, Ima, you remember when we were talking about on Shabbos? And, and everyone was like, oh, you need to up your views. And, and people viewing you on the live. She's like, Ima. 
They don't get it. They don't get why you're doing it. You see, because if you have one person, that person needs a chizak. She's like, I need the chizak now, right? She's like, Ima, your words could help that one person going through that pain. It's not about the numbers. Every person is a world. Every person is a world. I got messages from people that are like, Shimi, I can't sleep at night. I can't sleep at night. I'm scared. Another person, I just lost someone that I love. Shimi, I, I, I feel like I'm having anxiety. And, and they watch my lives and it's getting them through. And I'm like, that's why. That's why I'm doing my lives. So I want to end off with this. We're going to close up and we're going to come back on. And I want to tell you, the people that I'm bringing on my lives, you know, I'm, obviously I'm bringing singers because I want to make it entertaining for kids, for adults. But I hope you realize that when I bring the, the singers, it's not just, I want it to be fun. I want it to be exciting. But I, I, I ask them questions that hopefully will have an effect on somebody out there. And so many people are telling me, Shimi, thank you for bringing another side of the singers. Like, they're really inspiring. They don't just sing. They don't just do weddings. They, there's something, there's such a beautiful side to it. And that's my goal. That's, I'm bringing Simcha Liner tomorrow, Bezrat Hashem. And I, I don't know if I'm going to do lives with people on Chalmite. Maybe I am. I'm going to see. Um, but I'm bringing people like right now. When we go off, we're going to come back on. I'm bringing on Annette and Dehan. Guys, you don't even know. Annette and Dehan are, they're incredible human beings. I'm not even going to be able to, I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to let you see for yourselves. So I want to wrap up because we have one minute left. And we're going to come back on. My friends, life is too short. Whoever's taking notes, please write this down and you could go back to it whenever you're feeling down and lonely and you can't pick yourself up. Life is too short to be taking the wrong train. And the person who's taking the train, you, is the most incredible person in the world. And you might not feel that way, but over time, that's my timer. But over time, my friends, I'm going to save the live Amir Tashem. Over time, with learning, you're going to recognize how holy and special you are and how much you have to offer the world. Clean the kitchen while you play, play the live. You heard, my friends? You got to learn. If you don't learn, you don't realize your mission. And tomorrow, I'm going to ask you specific questions to figure out who you really are. And you don't have to answer it on the live. I'm going to print, I'm, not, I'm going to write down the questions, I'm going, to, I'm going to put it on my story, and I want you all to think about what the questions are and what it means to you, and you answer it on your own and take your time to answer them. I can't wait for you to see these questions and figure out how special you really are. All right, guys, I'm hanging up, we're going off, and we're bringing Annette and Dayan from Estes Online. I'm so happy, Alicia, that you like these lives. I'm doing this for us, for each other. Um, the book is 48 Ways to Wisdom or Noah Weinberg. All right, here we go. Guys, ready? Let's drop the mic. Why not? Even though I'm going to see you in three seconds. Look at all the hearts. One, two, three. Drop the mic. Guys, don't leave me, all right? Don't leave.